Keep it going for Tony, everybody. And all the other comics you've seen tonight. What's going on? My name is uh, John Jay. Uh, I've been trying to quit smoking. It's really hard to quit, you know? You know I got one of those e-cigarettes, you know? Hopefully, like, supplement the nicotine a little bit, make it easier to quit. Still fucking hard. Turns out I'm not actually addicted to nicotine. I'm just addicted to looking really, really cool. <laughs> and there's nothing cool about that asshole sitting over in the corner puffing on a blue laser pointer. Where are you at? Let me see it. Somebody take a puff. No glow sticks tonight? Oh, well. I like when people walk up to me and say weird stuff, you know, like, hey, did you know that President Kennedy had a secretary named Lincoln? And President Lincoln had a secretary named Kennedy. Coincidence? Yeah, stupid. That's the literal definition of a coincidence. Please do not breathe on me. Uh, I'm getting older. My hair is starting to go in the front here. It's starting to look like, like fresh baby hair. <laughs> like you could look at it and be like, oh, you just got your baby hair now? Congratulations. <laughs> no, it's just, it's going in reverse. <laughs> Pretty soon it'll just be a pink spot. <laughs> Man. Now, I, I realized I was getting older, like it was cool when I was younger because everybody would tell me like, oh, you look too young for your age now, but when you get older, you're gonna love it, it'll be way better. That shit didn't work out like that for me. <laughs> it all hit me at like 30. I figured it out in the grocery store, I was buying a 12 pack of beer and the guy like scanned it over the thing and the little alarm buzz, like telling him that he has a card man, I just pulled out my ID and he goes, no, it's okay. I was like, there's a sign here that says you got a card anybody under 40. And he goes, those bags under your eyes look like they're 40. <laughs> Move along. So, so I'm not doing, doing good in that respect. Um, tired of homophobia. I think homophobia is stupid in this day and age. You know, like 2014. Homophobia is stupid. Like, you ever see that guy in the back of the bar that's like, yeah, if that gay dude over there, if he comes up and hits on me, I'm going to whoop his ass. All right, that's stupid. Anytime a gay guy hits on me, number one, I am flattered. All right? <laughs> Thank you, sir, for boosting my self-esteem. Number two, I get a little bit excited because I know if this whole vagina thing doesn't work out, <laughs> I've got options. <laughs> yeah. Good to keep your options open. I like riding my bike a lot. Uh, the only downside is my wife makes me wear a bicycle helmet when I run. Yeah, look how cool I look right now and go ahead and add a bicycle helmet to that. That's a problem, you know? It's okay in the good neighborhoods and on the bike trail, but when I get back to my neighborhood, it's kind of like a shady neighborhood, kind of a poor neighborhood, and I got to ride past this one scary spot every time I'm away home. And I know it's about to happen, right? I know it's about to happen when I ride past this spot, but every time it surprises me, off to the left I hear, hey faggot, nice bike helmet. <laughs> and that really hurts, you know? Especially coming from an eight-year-old. <laughs> and she doesn't have to wear a helmet when she rides her bike. That is not fair. So I don't know if you've noticed by now, but uh, I am a piece of white trash. Yeah. Any other white trash out there? We got one, two, you know, two on a Wednesday night of drinking? Really? That's it? No, I think, I think the problem is that most people don't realize that they're white trash. I remember the exact moment I realized I was a piece of white trash. I was laying there, completely naked, with a tall can of PBR in my hand, <laughs> in an above-ground pool. <laughs> I was like, man, I gotta scale back this white trash. So I got out of that pool and I put back on my cut-off jean shorts. <laughs> Problem solved. I want to talk about my beliefs real quick. 
Is that okay? I got weird beliefs. Uh, might offend some people, you know? Um, something strange. I'm not like regular like Jewish or Christian or Muslim. I'm not anything too weird like Jehovah's Witness or Scientologist or anything like that. Uh, I believe in Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah. People get mad at me when I say I believe in Bigfoot, you know? They get mad at me like they tell me that it's stupid and I'm always like, it doesn't hurt anybody for me to believe in Bigfoot. It's never hurt anybody. Like the people that believe in Bigfoot have never once gone to war with people that believe in the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> That's never once happened. Also, I've never been in the woods and Bigfoot's like passed me a wicker basket and told me to put a dollar in it. That's never happened. I never got turned down for sex in high school because the chick believed in Bigfoot. I don't know. Just remember, when, when you're casting Bigfoot's footprints in the sand, those are the times he was carrying you. Yeah. <laughs> you guys like reality TV? Couple people, couple people. I got a great idea for a reality TV show, okay? I wanna combine my two favorite reality shows to make one badass show. It'll be called I'm 16 and Pregnant Because of Wife Swap. <laughs> kind of more of a drama, right? <laughs> Does anybody ever fart so hard they thought their cell phone was ringing inside their pocket? That one's, that one's not a joke, but I uh, just kind of wanted to see if I was alone up here. Yeah. Hey. I got woken up the other morning by Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah. Pisses me off. 9.30 on a Saturday morning. Pissed me off, but I figured out a way that they'll never show up again, okay? And you guys can try this at home. Basically what you do is you strip down to your tidy whitey underwear, and you put on your bicycle helmet. And then you answer the door like this. Oh, thank God you guys are here. I've been waiting up for you all night. Quick, get inside before someone sees you. <laughs> I've got a lot of really interesting theories on 9-11. <laughs> They're gone, man. They're back on their 10 speeds, riding past the little girl's house, calling them a faggot. <laughs> yeah. I like smoking weed. Any other weed smokers out there? Nice, nice. Some things I can't do on weed. Some things like won't work for me when I get high, like spell check on my computer. Yeah, I was trying to type ridiculous into Facebook the other night, and it gave me that red squiggly line underneath. So I clicked on it and it said, did you mean rhinoceros? And I was like, no, but that was the only option it gave me. So I like had to backspace all the way to R and respell the whole thing again. And it still gave me that fucking red squiggly line. So I clicked on it, and it said, no results found. And I was like, bitch, what happened to rhinoceros? <laughs> this shit is rhinoceros. <laughs> I'll get out of here with this one. Uh, I can't get high and use my GPS to find any place. It's just too harsh and demanding and confusing. I can't take it, you know? It's like, in three miles, you will make a left turn. How far is three miles? Why is it telling me this shit now? In one mile, you will make a left turn. Oh, fuck, is that the same left turn? I think the solution is a stoner GPS, okay? It's just one that's more calm and mellow and reassuring and nice to you, you know? I'm gonna invent this and sell it after shows. It'd be, it'd, be like, it'd be like this, it'd be like, all right, bro, in three miles, you're gonna make a left turn, but don't worry about it, because I'm gonna tell you again. <laughs> all right, dude, in one mile, you're gonna make that left turn. You can do this. All right, man, I'm, I'm not really sure what's going on right now, but I think you just missed your left turn. 
recalculating to the nearest Denny's. All right, guys, my name is John J. Murray. Thank you guys very much. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Give it up for Tony God once again.